सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू द न्यू डे एन न्यू ब्लॉक टूडे वी हैव विद आर बिलवेड फ्रेंड शुभदीप हाउ आर यू शुभदीप आई एम डूइंग वेल आई एम डूइंग फाइन या एंड यू मस्ट है सीन वी हैव ऑल्सो मेड सम ऑफ द वीडियोज विद शुभदीप लाइक हाउ टू अप्लाई फॉर स्टूडेंट डॉम एंड अबाउट हिज अपार्टमेंट एक्सपीरियंस टूडे वी थॉट दैट विल डिस्कस अबाउट वन ऑफ द सब्जेक्ट्स दैट शुभदीप टुक इन हिज विंटर सेमेस्टर एंड द सब्जेक्ट नेम इज ह्यूमन कंप्यूटर इंट्रैक्शन यू कैन गो टू आर पी टू कैसे लॉटन प्ले लिस्ट देयर वी हैव डिस्कस्ड वेरियस सब्जेक्ट्स सो इन सम वीडियोज वी हैव डिस्कस द सब्जेक्ट विद मुंतसर अबाउट द सब्जेक्ट ओवर व्यू हाउ इज द एग्जाम एंड आई हैव ऑर्डर्ड द वीडियोज इन दैट प्ले लिस्ट सो यू कैन अकॉर्डिंगली वॉच इन दैट प्ले लिस्ट विद शुभदीप विद मुंतसर वी हैव सेवरल वीडियोज सो शुभदीप इफ यू टॉक अबाउट ह्यूमन कंप्यूटर इंट्रैक्शन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल विल टॉक इन अ सीरियल ऑर्डर अबाउट ओवर व्यू then maybe the exam experience or the exam insights and then your personal experience so if we start with the overview part about human computer interaction so the subject human computer interaction is taught by professor arkim ebert okay and uh, it is a full credit subject yeah and you learn a lot a lot of stuff about like visualization yeah. and human centered aspects in co- like in computing like how humans and computer like how the interaction between humans and computers yeah. is uh, established yeah uh so that is like the course content sort of what we learn in uh, human computer interaction yeah and uh moving on so if we go into the type of lectures that are in hci so all the lectures are yeah. uh, recorded the professor usually has one class at the starting of the semester where he okay. explains all these stuffs yeah. that uh the lectures are recorded and you have to watch a lecture every week yeah. and then uh, ev- uh in our case Uh, it was every wednesday the lecture was scheduled uh, okay. every wednesday yeah. of the week and we had to meet in a uh, uh, online class and uh, we would discuss and the professor would discuss the lecture that we had learned through by what that uh, by the uh, video that we had watched that week yeah and so that is how the lecture progressed like uh, week by week yeah so every week the professor would have a discussion and we would watch a uh, watch a video for the next week and again a discussion okay so now one point uh, i wanted to ask like this human computer interaction how many credits it has uh, yeah it is a four credit subject okay and also the exercises for the subject are not compulsory okay so now like you mentioned about the lecture system so you said every wednesday yeah. so is it like a q and a session like you watch the videos and you ask your doubts to the professor or uh, uh, how it works okay so it is both a q and a session and also the professor like uh, clears your doubts okay. obviously and yeah. uh, the professor also explains some uh, st- uh, topics which he thinks that might have been uh, a bit too difficult for students to understand so okay. he takes uh, takes up the mantle to explain these uh, topics uh, a bit further in detail okay got it so uh, this is about the lecture like every wednesday you had this session it's online right every session was online like apart from yeah. the first class yeah and then uh, about the exercise sessions you told that it is not mandatory but what is the time of this exercise session how many exercise or when you have to submit that exercise so again every exercise is given about a time of uh, i be- i believe 2 weeks yeah. and uh, we get uh, we get an ample ample time to complete the exercises yeah. and again it, it's not compulsory but if you submit the exercises then we will definitely correct it and uh, let you know of your mistakes or like give you the score for that exercise okay so you get the score as well but uh, is it somehow related to the exam like this much score no. you have to clear to uh, give the exam yeah no it's not at all related to the exam yeah. the exam is a separate uh, the exam is the only criteria for passing the subject Okay okay so exercises are optional so you yeah. can uh, submit that and get an score and get an idea these exercises are practical or like for hci because i did not have that subject so uh, was it theoretical like how was that exercise okay so uh, most of the exercises are theoretical yeah. but there are some practical exercises which i would actually uh, tell people to uh go and do the practical exercises because they let you experience the uh, latest technology in like virtual reality and yeah. uh, uh, and uh, augmented reality technologies that they have at their labs yeah. which they have researched and uh, it, it is really fun to look at yeah so yeah that the practical exercises i would uh, suggest people to take into and they usually have like time slots for you okay. where you can go and uh, like uh, they will open the time slots in olat and then you can go and apply for any time slot and yeah. uh, just just uh, just be at that particular time slot at their research group yeah. and they will uh, like uh, entertain you with the research okay okay like you mentioned this research group so uh, like you have to read some research papers as well during and these uh, no no you don't have to read any yeah. research papers the 
content is usually uh, related to whatever you are studying. Okay. That's that's what they show you in the practical exercises. Okay. Okay. So then you perform those exercises and maybe yeah. ask your doubts accordingly. Now, since we discussed about the lecture and the exercise pattern, now you have to give the exam. So now, if I talk about the uh, exam of human computer interaction, how was it like? Like, if I if we start about the timing, like for how much time is it and how many marks it contains? So if you can tell about that. So the HCI exam was of eighty marks, and okay. we are we were given a time of an hour. Yeah. And uh, and the questions in the exam were usually given topic wise. So let's say okay. starting with topic one, the foundations of HCI. Yeah. You have like. uh three sets of questions on that yeah and uh, like each of like maybe 10 marks or 6 marks somewhere yeah. and they are like broken up into sub questions so like yeah. the 6 mark question is broken up to 3 plus 3 okay. questions like okay. that and then you have let's say human centered aspects you have visualization two yeah. other topics yeah. on which again there are uh, many more sub questions yeah. so that's how the exam is usually broken up okay so for every topic you have certain set of sub questions yeah. and then you uh, give that exam 80 marks in 60 minutes 80 marks that's good and uh, now if i talk about like uh, is it theoretical in the exam like the questions were theoretical or it's some mixture of numerical uh, you have to solve some equations as well or, okay so uh, yeah the exam is mostly theoretical but yeah there are few questions that involve numericals okay. and also there are few questions uh, that this is one advice that i would give to people yeah. that a lot of the questions uh, are similar to exercises and therefore it is beneficial okay. to do the exercises because yeah. Uh, yeah. they do help you in the exam yeah that's a good uh, recommendation yeah. as well and so like you practice that you went for the exercise sessions although it was not mandatory yeah. so it helped you for the yeah, uh, exactly. exam preparation exactly as well and uh, like if i talk about like did that was the time enough for the, this exam because sometimes you have to be quick you know when you have this scheme that you have one hour for the final exam and you have 80 marks mm-hmm. so how was that experience like i this? felt that the time was just right enough like okay. i finished about maybe Five to seven minutes just before the exam okay. ended. Okay. Okay. But yeah, there like uh, if you are fast enough, you can finish quite early. Okay. Okay. Got it. So I think this is also important that uh, if you practice exercises and then you are good to go yeah. uh, with the exams. Now, if you talk about Shubhdeep, your experience regarding this subject, although mm-hmm. you also mentioned from your experience some of the points, but. how was it sub- this subject for you because like you had some uh, yeah. prior knowledge regarding hci or this was the first time you was intru- you were introduced okay. to this subject yeah. and uh-huh. how you felt about it uh, through the course of the uh, winter semester okay so uh, first thing i want to mention is this course wasn't uh, part of any of my specializations this okay. was uh, taken as part of my uh, supplement okay and yeah. there's and this is the reason why uh, i took it as a part of my supplement because i have already always been interested in hci yeah uh, uh front end development is a very uh is a, is a genre is a type. part is a yeah. type of development in which hci is heavily involved okay and uh thus i really wanted to know like what what like what uh, what does a good interface look like like yeah. what is a good and appealing interface and the answer to that is always there in hci okay that's interesting and uh, like was this subject manageable for you like the content was new and Uh, through the lectures which were mentioned or through those sessions which professor took like how was your experience regarding that okay so the uh, lect- uh, i found this uh, subject to be fairly uh, standard and uh, it was it started from the very basics and then went yeah. on to some like uh, stuff that uh like very very uh, uh theoretical and uh, very uh, research based stuff yeah. but yeah you will definitely enjoy the subject in yeah. my opinion yeah. is uh like there is a lot of uh, there is a lot of fun topics in the subject that yeah. really help you like um that really help to uh, engage you and really help you help you to like understand like how computers uh, work how the interaction between yeah. humans and computers yeah. work yeah so i think it's yeah. quite interesting as well and you can take that subject according to your interest and for the exam like uh, if like what would you say like uh, how to prepare for the exam any tips regarding that uh, for the exam i would suggest just going through the lectures uh, uh, okay. going through the lectures thoroughly yeah, yeah. because most of the exam like again there are, there are few numericals in the exercise like uh, sorry the exam yeah however most of the exam is theoretical hence you will have to study the lectures by heart okay theory behind it yeah so and, and I, now talking about this so uh, the questions uh, were from the lecture slides or the theory that was taught to you or you had ah, to uh, read some ex- other research papers by your own like, no you don't have any to read, no 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 you don't yeah. have to read any research papers or anything you yeah. can just follow the lectures the all the answers will be in the lectures as uh, uh, lectures as uh, yeah. lectures only and yeah. um, 
just follow the lectures because most of the questions are actually direct questions okay yeah, yeah. and uh, there are only a few handful of them which are conceptual questions yeah but yeah most of them are direct and you can fairly uh, pass the exam with uh, nice uh, with very good marks actually yeah. if you just follow the lectures and study them by yeah so i think this is also one of the good yeah. recommendations from shubhdeep that uh, since i do not have much idea because i did not take this subject but i think shubhdeep very well cleared this subject and uh, from his i think this is a good uh, recommendation that you can try taking this subject like he told in your supplement block if you want to try it or you can also put that subject in different sections right yeah, if, your your, if your major or minor is uh, scientific visualization then you yeah. should you should definitely go for this subject okay okay and as he said the time was enough the marks and uh, the timing he mentioned also how to find the previous year papers i have made a video about that uh, like about the kai portal also i have made a video about the cheat sheet now is cheat sheet allowed uh, no cheat sheet is okay not okay so i think it's a kind of theoretical yeah. uh, as you said so i think you have to learn things by heart from the lecture slides right yes so uh, so you have to learn like each and every slide or how how it worked for you Uh, no you don't have to yeah. learn each and every slide but yeah. yeah you have to there is a fairly bit of content in, all, in almost every slide yeah. so yeah it, it uh, i won't say it's uh, it's complete mugging up but yeah you you have to understand what you're studying yeah. and uh, finally just uh, like study the lecture slides well and then give the exam then you're good to go enough. and yeah, uh, go. yeah so i think uh, that's it thank you shubhdeep for sharing your uh, in detail i would say the experience regarding this subject as i said uh, that you can watch the videos where i have talked about cheat sheet although the cheat sheet is not allowed in hci but like shubhdeep said if you attend the exercise sessions that are also quite fruitful although it is not mandatory to submit but it's always good to go uh, right if you go to that sessions and you get an idea of the practical implication as well of uh, the theory that maybe you learn through uh, this subject and it was in winter semester only right yes it's so, only uh, provided in the winter semester okay and regarding the exam date you took the first exam date or that was the only exam date uh, i believe it was the only exam date yeah okay okay so you you had that option and yeah. uh, i think you had enough time to prepare although you were preparing since the semester yeah. begins for the subject so uh, it's good to know that and you can also take the su- take that subject if you want and uh, again thank you shubhdeep for sharing all these details and insights about the subject overview i would say the exam pattern as well as his own personal experience and i hope through this video you also got some information regarding human computer interaction so i end this vlog now rest you know like comment share subscribe it doesn't take <laughs> much time bye bye ciao ciao namaste chalo see you in new day new vlog also you can go to different playlist and watch videos according to your interest and you can go to rp2 kaiser lockton playlist there the videos are also in english maybe we make some more videos with our beloved friend shubhdeep bye bye